All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. I'm going to keep it clean. Touch gloves. Let's do it. DC, how's your pulse? You all right? Nuts. I mean, <laughs> I can't sit still. I can't talk anymore. I'm excited, I'm, man. I'm not sure I've ever seen Alexander Volkanovsky in this type of shape. He was He's bouncing fit. around before he hit the scale on Friday. This fight was to go down, of course, back in March. A little delay due to COVID-19, and it shall be done tonight. And with that, our championship main event is upon us. Brian T. City Ortega out of the blue corner in blue. Alexander Volkanovsky out of the red corner in the black and gold befitting a champion. And this is exactly what these two want. After the time on the Ultimate Fighter, all the buildup, all that friendly banter from before is gone. These two dudes want to take it to each other. Especially the champion. He cannot wait to get his hands on Ortega. Ortega undefeated with that shaved head went back to the lettuce for this fight. <laughs> I mean, how's he grow his hair so fast? <laughs> I mean, really, it grows so fast. Oh, it's been a while. That's what it shows you. Yeah, but look at that, that the hang, right? People can't grow hair that fast most times. Volkanovski, kick heavy attack early. And he'll do that. He'll chop these legs. He'll yep. sit on the outside and wait for the right moments to close that distance. Well, I was just thinking, you know, regardless of what he feels about you, he won't make mistakes, though. He'll still stay key to who and true he is. He won't overcommit. He won't leave openings for you. He will fight with his strategy, regardless of what he feels for you emotionally. A lot of feints from Volkanovski. Both of these guys will switch stances. And this is what Volkanovski wants. You see how he's got now? He's got T-City backing up against the fence on the outskirts of this octagon. That's what he wants. Both guys landed good jabs there. Ortega's doing a good job of checking these leg kicks. Ooh. Ooh, big right hand there from Volkanovski. And a nice quick counter from Ortega. Beautiful kick by T-City there. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Jab. After Volk landed a nice right hand. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Couple minutes gone by round one. Look at that read. You see how Volkanovski wanted to counter, counter right hand, but it wasn't there anymore. Pulled it right back to stay safe and not put himself out there. That right hand cut Ortega over his left eye. Ooh, yeah. Nice stick there by Volkanovski. There's another right hand over the top. See, and that one was there, John, because he had him rushing in. He had Ortega trying to close the distance. T City just out of range with that jab. Beautiful jab there by the champ. He closes distance, man, so well. Look at his so footwork, fast. too. His footwork, he's constantly on you. Ooh. And now there is a little gash under the left eye of Volkanovski. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that gash is leaking, so cut men on both sides have some work to do if we get to the stools. Ortega looking very patient. Not overextending himself. And we saw that begin to show in the zombie fight. And even now, he's doing the same thing, taking his time, trying to find his spot. So many feints out of Volkanovski throughout the fight. Israel Adesanya has talked a lot about how city kickboxing has sort of revolutionized the faint game in MMA. Under a minute to go. Well, you see him freezing, guys, by just fainting at him. Good slip and counter right there from the champ. I'd like to see a few more kicks from Ortega. 
Volkanovski's throwing board on top oh. of the hands and throwing a lot of kicks. Nice punch there by Bryant. Yeah, caught him with a left hand there. That's a couple times in the round that Ortega has backed Volkanovski up with his hands. Oh, another good jab by Ortega there. Oh, left hand again from Ortega as he caught that kick. Volkanovski goes in and out so fast, though, man. Before he gets countered, he's out of range when he throws that one-two. Five minutes down. Nice jab there from the champion. There's a nice overhand right, right on the ear of Ortega. But you see Ortega already trying to throw right back. Look at that one. Good chin there from Brian Ortega. Nice jab. And he landed quite a few of those. Both guys split each other open. It's a competitive first round. Great first round. Crowd enjoying the back and forth nature of it. Unofficially significant strikes. 21 for Volkanovski, 18 for Ortega. Far more attempts for T City. 52 to Volkanovski's 29. Oh, nice combination there by Bryant. Yeah, I think Volkanovski's got to be careful going to these kicks to the body. You see Ortega doing a really good job of catching them and countering. Because Brian's so much, because Ortega's so much taller, when Volkanovski throws that kick, he cannot reach with his hands, but Ortega can. So he's landing whenever Volkanovski tries to throw that blind body kick. Ooh, glancing left hook there from the champ. That jab from Ortega, though, is fast, man. He just snaps it out there as a little feeler every now and then. Nice leg kick as well. Yeah, that had some impact behind it. Volkanovski lands to the body. That's that body kick he's been looking for. That time was one of the nice right hand there. Big right hand there from the champ. T-City's jab has been accurate. Yeah, that's been his best weapon so far. Oh, nice right hand there by Volkanovski. Dropped down and landed, yep. did so again. Ortega's got to move his head. He's got to get back to moving his head like he Ortega was doing Ortega lands a right hand. Yep. Yeah, beautiful right hand there by Brian Ortega. Three minutes now to go round two. Ortega's got to move that head before the engagement start. He can't try to time it. He can't try to wait for Volkanovski to go first and then kind of slip. He's got to just kind of move it before. He was doing that early. There it is. Just those little small movements are enough to not give him a target. Volkanovski, nice yes. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Volkanovski adjusted masterfully in his last title defense against Max Holloway, dropped the first two rounds, made the requisite changes, and was able to emerge by split decision there by retaining his featherweight title. And that's one of the things I respect oh, about him most, nice. right? His ability to adjust on the fly as he's just touching oh. up Brian Ortega right now. Ortega barely flinched after that huge elbow. But that was one of the more significant lands of the fight for Volkanovski. Well, we saw that when he fought Holloway, Ortega. right? Ortega's not going to give up on himself, man. He's a tough kid. He's not going to show anything that hurts him. He's extremely durable, extremely tough. And now he has the skills to match that toughness. Good jab a moment ago by Volkanovski. The father of two, Ariana and Early. No doubt excited to see their dad whenever he can make it home. Nice one, two there from Volkanovski. Both guys wearing it pretty good, but Ortega especially so. 
A nice little advance there by the challenger. Coming up on a minute to go round two. Yeah, both guys showing an incredible hand speed in this fight. There's another nice leg kick yeah. there from Brian Ortega. It's like three of them now. Yeah, I, I think he should stay all night. Keep using his, his boxing combos, and every now and then, if, if you get the champion backing up out of range, chop down and land a leg kick. It's so hard, though, because Volkanovski is constantly changing sides. Every advancement comes from a different fighting position. Hard to see where some of this blood is coming from on Volkanovski. Maybe his ear got popped. Oh, that's a big right hand, or so it appeared from the champ. It's got to be an ear. That cauliflower was soft at all coming into the fight. Take a punch on there. Pops open. Numbers, unofficial they may be, pretty close in terms of significant strikes landed. Volkanovski, the far more efficient party, 72%. Exciting stuff through 10 minutes. We call on the coach, Dean Thomas. Dean, my man, what you got? You know, Volkanovski's getting so much work done because of the feints. Ortega doesn't know when it's coming. He has to be able to disrupt them feints. And the way you do that is assume that it's going to be offense. Just step in and just throw something. Anytime Volkanovski flinches, Ortega needs to step in and throw something. Thank you, Dean. Valuable analysis, that. Ortega working off the jab here early Ooh. round three. Love the corner work of Ortega's corner. Yes. They told him the truth. He's outpointing you right now. He's getting out ahead of you. You got to start to go because he's coming to you more because he's had some success. Now you got to start letting your offense fly. Volkanovski told us that against the Korean zombie, Brian Ortega looked like a world beater because the zombie's so flat footed. He thought that his movement would give him a lot of problems. And to this point, it seems like he was right. Yeah, it, it, that, there's a big difference between the way that Volkanovski fights you and, and Korean Zombie. He marches forward, he plots forward, oh. he relies on bigger shots, whereas the champion can sit here and pitter-pat, kick your legs, take oh. you down, he can do so many different things. Oh, right hand. Beautifully timed by Volkanovski. I think that right hand hurt him a little bit, John. Oh, head. Maybe it was a head clash. Oh, yeah, it was a head missed clash. Missed on the right hand. Yeah, he missed. How unfortunate is that? Nice defensive job there by Ortega to prevent that clinch opening from Volkanovski. Oh, there, nice uppercut left hook by Ortega. Oh, good jab there from the champ. And it looks like the head clash caused the bloody nose now, right? So now it's hard to breathe through the nose, Felder. Yeah, that's that sucks, man. Just unnecessary damage from an accidental clash of heads. And because of that, I mean, the face of Ortega really starting to show it now, but yeah. Unfortunately, part of that is not even from a punch. Yeah, that nose is leaking now, DC. Oh, oh man, B beautiful combo there from Volkanovski. Yeah, that punctuating left hand ain't gonna help matters for Ortega. Now he connects with a left. Another good jab. Man, Ortega though, to your point, Daniel, heart toughness, yeah. not a problem. No, man, this is a kid from Los Angeles, right? Tough kid, fought his way out of a lot of tough situations, and has made himself a star. Oh! Oh, he's going to for T-City! That's tight! Oh, my goodness, it's tight! Oh, he must have that! Volkanovski! Mounted guillotine! Volkanovski trying to escape! It. Oh, my goodness, mounted guillotine by Ortega! He might go to sleep! The grip is breaking! Oh, oh, wow! wow. For now, Volkanovski oh. is out. But he can't get his choke. But a minute 42 in there on the mat. He's going back guillotine. Don't show the tip here. 
Bar Strowman to Batista. Oh my goodness. He's out. Wow. What a wow. rally. Championship medal from Volkanovski. That Under 90 crazy. to go round three. Wow. Oh man, that's heart right there, buddy. You it can't is, teach that right there. It's hard not to panic when you're in that mountain. Oh, oh, the right the worst. back to work now with the ground and pound inside the closed guard of Ortega. And now the champ is pissed off. You know what I mean? He Shoot. wants to get you back for that one. Man, Ortega jumped on that neck. Yeah, in no because time. he knew he had a chance. But look at the look at look at Volkanovski. Got squeezed like that. He's got to watch the triangle and he attempts right here. Back to work. There it is. Triangle. Oh, that's tight. That's tight. Oh, he got him. T said he's trying to oh, win a title goodness. with his signature move. Oh my goodness, that is tight. He's gonna go for the arm. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, my goodness. goodness. Are you kidding me oh, right now? Man. I thought it was over the twice. Champ. He's, he's a savage, man. Him. And now he's just beating the Now ball. he's like, I'm going to make you break for that. Oh, big oh, shot's getting goodness. through. Unbelievable. Short time. Oh, huge ground strikes from Volkanovski. One of the best title rounds you will see. Wow. wow. Whoa. What a round. Brian Ortega's in trouble. He's in a lot of trouble because the champ's going to go after him to try to get him out of there. All right, so Ortega is able to pass that test from the ringside physician. Championship rounds are upon us. And certainly some extra recovery time there, potentially, for Brian Ortega. He needed it. If you're Ortega, though, you are really... I mean, you're down, man. You gave him your best two attacks. And the champion got out of those moves, never panicked, and now he's right back in your face. Alexander Volkanovski yeah, is so good. Apparently, Volkanovski does not need to breathe like the rest of <laughs> right. us. He doesn't get tired. Well, an incredible after being in those submission attempts to just throw that much offense thereafter. He just got back on top of him. And honestly, for as, as dangerous as I was, I might take him down again if I'm yeah. Volkanovski. Because yeah. I think he can get the finish. The city kickboxing guys talk a lot about thriving in those uncomfortable positions and situations. You got to think Volkanovski spent a lot of time trying to get out of those spots and training. You just watch the training that these guys put in. They're, they're, Eugene is constantly pushing them to the limit and then making them focus on simple things. And oh, that's what you hook. need to get drilled into you in, the, in this combat situation. You've got to be able to perform under stress, panic, and fatigue. And we just saw the champion do that. Oh, he's going to try. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. He's got to lift the underhook. Oh, it's like Whoa. Jamal Ortega. He's jumped guillotine again. The champ immediately starts to fight the hands. Oh, this is tight. Oh, man. He's hiding the hands. Nice. Ah, he's, he's okay, yeah. He's okay. Can't grab the toes. Got to watch the toes. Volkanovski is okay. This will be Brian Ortega's last best chance here because he's going to put all of himself into the submission yeah, tip. there it is, DC. Yep. That was his last best chance. And if you're Volkanovski, any thought to just getting up? No, not right here. I think this is perfect. Half yeah. guard up against the fence. He just gave another big effort. He's going to be exhausted. We yep. saw the ground and pound from the champion in that last round. This is actually, like DC this said, ideal, he yep. didn't have to take him to the ground. Ortega did it for him. Because Brian threw his, his shot, right? Yeah. He threw his full court shot. He threw his Hail Mary with that guillotine. And hats off to T-City for trying it, right? Because some fighters just accept yes. what's happening. But right now, he finds himself in the worst position because this dude, Alexander Volkanovski, is a savage. You know, with this performance, too, I mean, I know they're still around after this if it doesn't get finished. But having that Max Holloway, talk about rinsing that out of your mouth and saying, forget about that. Oh, he's going to try and again. Yeah, but T-City's still throwing up submissions that are dangerous. Yeah. Or take him in your leg lock or something that Volkanovski can't just tough up, yeah. right? Something that blows the knee, because Volkanovski is not tapping to anything tonight. Oh. oh. 
punishing elbow there. I mean, the endurance that is on display from the champ is incredible. He's got to watch his arm here. He's not tired he's at all, watch. Feldy. But he's not tired at all, Feldy. He's still fighting at the same pace. He may actually be picking it up right now. I think, oh, 100% he, he is, especially oh. when he gets to the ground. Oh. oh. Oh, my goodness. That left hand's getting through. Oh. Oh, oh. oh that one hurt. That right hand hurt bad. Next oh level toughness from goodness. Ortega, but this could be the end. He's doing just enough. Herb was ready to jump in yeah, right there. Was. Saw that? He was. He rolled. Action right in front of Dana White here. One minute to go, round four. I mean, this dude is beating up Brian Ortega bad. Yeah, Alexander Volkanovski. Champ might need a break for a change here. My, My goodness. goodness. Feels like Herb Dean could be one strike away from stopping it at any time. Oh, and these are big shots. And they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. And now Volkanovski will welcome Ortega back to his feet. Volkanovski is, I mean, this dude is disturbing I mean, this guy is, is in unbelievable shape. And these elite featherweights, oh. Volkanovski, Ortega, Holloway. It is a good time to be a UFC fan. 20 minutes down. Unbelievable that he survived that round right now. Yeah. What it's else hurt. can you say about the toughness of Brian Ortega? You know, sadly though, it's title fight number two, and in two title fights, he has not been on the, you know, he's kind of gotten beaten up uh, in those title fights. Because Volkanovski does not look to be slowing down at all. Yeah, certainly a tale of two corners there after round four. I'm not saying this is the Holloway fight, but man, Alexander Volkanovski looks phenomenal tonight. And Brian Ortega's toughness man. and will to fight is on full display. It just shows you how just how good Vol Vol Volkanovski and Holloway. I mean, yeah, by far two of the best featherweights to ever do it. And, you know, Ortega keeps trying, right? He's not, every time this fight hits the ground, he keeps trying. So until this final bell rings, Volkanovski is not safe. But he's not even fatigued at all. Takedown defense is there. Yeah, Jab just remains no a point energy. Of emphasis. Yeah. No energy from Ortega to shoot that. His corner's asking for a blast double leg, and I agree, maybe oh. if you had the energy. That was a nice elbow landed in tight there by Volkanovski. Beautiful right elbow, because now Ortega's tired, so he can reach with his hands and grab him to gauge his distance, and then throw the elbow. Ortega has certainly... Let's go, let's go, fight. But. Ortega has shown a penchant for the rally throughout his career, but he has absorbed a lot of damage. Well, this would be his greatest. Yeah. He's still throwing. He's still, look at him, yeah. He looks better this round than he did in the fourth. Well, you've got to know that this is it, right? Yeah, everything you give right now yeah. is, is to hold on to this possible victory. They told Brian Ortega that this round was about earning it, and he is trying to earn it yeah, 100%. right now. You can't ask anything more from your fighter than what Brian is giving them right now. And for the champ, he's got to just continue to do what he's been doing. Under two and a half minutes to go. Right oh, hand is right there man. for Volk. Finally, it looks like Volkanovski slowing down a little bit. I mean, we're two minutes left I in mean, round five. the amount five. of volume that he's put out, it's insane. Yeah, it's nuts. Stats went down, so we can't I credit saw that. Yeah, I was numbers, like, 26, yeah. get out of here. I was going to ask the truck for an update. 
Oh, right hand lands for Ortega, acknowledged by Volkanovski, who now fires back. It's amazing that we're oh. round five, and Brian Ortega, for as hurt and tired as he was, has Alexander Volkanovski going back. back. I mean, he's, he might be winning the round, just landed an uppercut there. And Volkanovski got to appreciate he's not getting on his bike, no risk mitigation. He's no, still he's fighting. I mean, he's being sensible. He's not doing anything stupid, but he is right there standing toe to toe with Ortega, knowing that he's got this in the bag by a lot. Body head for Volkanovski. That combination for Volkanovski, very effective for him for a long time in his career. Did it against Chad Mendez beautifully to finish him. Under a minute. The game plan and the strategy of the champion and his team truly is, I mean, it's second to none in the game right now. And the toughness of Brian Ortega. Oh! I mean, he has been I mean, I've, I've never seen it. He's a zombie, right? He, he walks through strikes that most guys can't take. Volkanovski finally with a check on the clock. It reads 26 seconds and counting. Oh, there's that Volk jab again. What a featherweight championship fight. One they'll be talking about yeah. for years to come. That third round, man, was madness. Oh, and Ortega going for it. Wow. Right down the stretch, lands a big right hand late. And now a left. What a fight. 25 wow. minutes turned in by Alexander wow. Volkanovsky and Brian Ortega. Perhaps they will bury the hatchet. And all indications are it will be 20 consecutive wins and a title defense for the best featherweight in the world. All right, here we go. This is some highlights starting with round three. There's the left hand, drops the champion. Look how fast Brian Ortega jumps on this guillotine, straight into a mounted guillotine. This is possibly one of the worst positions you can be in. He fights out of it. Then Ortega manages to throw up a tight triangle choke. The champion has to roll to his back to defend this. Ultimately ends up getting out of this somehow, getting on top and just unleashing some ground and pound from hell. Ortega showing that heart. Showing that toughness, gets through the round. And man, the fact that he got through some of these bombs that Volkanovski was throwing from the top position, and then to come back in the fourth and in the fifth round and have a great round. And this is when guys were, these guys were just going at it. Some big right hands landed for Ortega. Good jabs landing from Volkanovski. I mean, what a fight. One of the greatest featherweight fights ever. That was amazing. One final time tonight, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 50-45, and 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC featherweight Champion of the world, Alexander the Great Volkanovski!